Hello everybody, how are we? Um, it's currently Friday, Friday the 23rd of September. Guess you've seen the new Harry Styles movie this evening. So excited. I feel like when I got the day off work, not even before going to see the movie, that would be a little bit extreme. But when I saw I had today off, I honestly was like, Michael, cancel your plans. There is one thing we're doing this evening, and that is going to see Don't Worry Darling. So I'm dragging him along with me, and he's gonna be, honestly, he's gonna be hooked afterwards. I tell you, he's gonna be absolutely hooked. I'm so excited. Honestly, so excited. All the drama that's been going on about it. Oh, anyway, that's what we want this video is about. This video that you guys all clicked on to today is going to be uh, trialing out some new makeup. Um, I've been doing, I've been building up some of these new products now for maybe like over the course of like a month. Yeah, I would say like over a month. Uh, for the longest time, I feel like I've been speaking about it for so long. I've wanted and needed, more importantly, some new makeup. It was, it was not a need, it was a must. Or it wasn't a must, it was a need. It wasn't. I'm so bad with sayings. I was getting so bored of applying makeup, doing makeup, just anything about makeup. I just wasn't enjoying doing. My favorite things to do anyway is applying makeup and just sitting down and lighting a candle and like getting all cozy and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, knowing that you've got somewhere fun to go afterwards and like just feeling your best self is that whole process of applying makeup and getting ready. It's just, it's the best, it's unbeatable. And I feel like the fact that I just wasn't enjoying applying the makeup I once loved so much, that was like, you know what? I think this calls for a shopping trip <laughs> to buy some new makeup. And that's exactly what I've done. I spent some money on Cult Beauty and Harrods Beauty and I think maybe some in Boots and maybe some from Beauty Bay. So we've got kind of things from everywhere, so very exciting. I'm so excited for today's video. Honestly, I've been waiting till this day to film it and try out all these products, and I'm so excited. So I'm not gonna keep on blabbing on anymore. I feel like I always make these introductions so, so long, and I feel like this could already be a relatively long video, but if you're anything like me, I love a long video, and I hope you do too. So welcome back to a new video. I am, um, I was about to tell you my name there. You know sometimes when you just keep on speaking and you're nervous when you're speaking, you just say random things. Uh. Rather important to the aesthetic of this video, I'm gonna light a candle. This one's actually a Zara one. Oh my God, it just smells, it smells like, see when you were younger and you used to go into your mum's bedroom and she, like she's just like had her shower, had her bath and like her bathroom would just smell like a spa. Do you understand the vision I'm coming across? And she's got a dressing gown on and she just looks so clean and amazing. This smells like that. That is honestly the first thing I just thought of when I just smelled this candle. It smells like the aroma of her bathroom after a bath. I always get so scared, especially when I have acrylics. I'm gonna burn my acrylic off. I've done that quite a few times. So yeah, this was what it's called. It's a Zara one. Would highly recommend. I'm gonna put that over here, guys. I'm so excited for this video. Like, I'm <laughs> so excited. Just looking at all the products down there. Oh, I can't bloody wait. Can't bloody wait. Um. Okay. Shall we just get into it? Shall we just start? I'm kind of nervous. Don't know why I'm nervous. Let's just start. Um. I have actually already put on my base just because I hate that feeling of when you come out the shower and you're like, you feel dry. Do you know what I mean? Like your face feels like you can't move it. Your body feels like it needs a bit of oil to get moving, you know what I mean? So I did actually already put on these two products that I'm gonna put makeup on top of. So this is the Aurelia, Aurelia London. I'm gonna link everything below and I promise I will. Um, I got this on Cult Beauty. Uh, quite a decent sized tub. I feel like you don't really get like decent sized like tubs of things anymore and it was not that badly priced I think for something that you're gonna use a lot and you know what I love so much about this product, okay? Nowadays you buy something like this and the product will start like round about here. No, no, not with this product. Look, it's like it's to the brim. How great is that? So you don't have to like skip into it when you first get it, you know there's nothing worse. Um, 
But yeah, I'm already so impressed with this. Again, this smells a very similar scent to my candle. Like something my mum would use after she's come out of the bath. I don't know why I'm so weird. And my mum coming out of the bath, I don't know, kind of weird. Um, and then obviously this, which has been around for so, so long, you guys have probably heard and seen, probably even have it as well. So this is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin um, Enriched Face Base cream i got this just in boots it is just one of the smaller ones i know you can get a bigger one but i couldn't find it but i really really like this and i don't know it's gonna give me my face that instant glow and there is a bit of tack there for my foundation to onto the foundation that we're gonna be trialing and testing i feel like foundation is sorry if i keep doing this throughout the video it's because the sleeves on this top it's the most beautiful top ever and i really love it but you know what, I hardly ever wear it and it's primarily because of the sleeves. They're so annoying, they always fall down and like, they're just so annoying. I have to sit with my shoulders raised otherwise they will fall down. So if I keep doing that, just don't get irritated because I'm just as irritated as you are. Anyway, this is gonna be the foundation we are testing out. I love Nars' foundations. I think they're so good. Um, my favorite foundation ever is the Nars natural radiant lightweight ton why do they make foundation limbs so long it's just like you're trying to test me um however oh, it's has stuff on the top of it yuck um sorry it's leaked a little bit at the top i don't know why um but yes i picked up this one i've wanted to try this one for so long this is the light reflecting yeah light reflecting foundation from NARS in the shade that I always use in NARS, which is Vanuatu. Vanuatu, yeah, I think that's what it is. Um, I've heard a lot about this shade that people always used. I think it was, was it Stromboli, that's like the shade down from this one, people always used to use. And then no one ever used Vanuatu. Um, like no one had like heard of it or like just had kind of like forgotten it that it was even there. Um, and then once they've tried the Vanuatu one, they've tried, they figured that it's like such a better shade match for them. So if you're someone that uses Stromboli right now and you're thinking, mm, it's missing a little something, maybe try Vanuatu and see what you think. I feel like it's just a bit more of like a warmer tone. I really like it. And it's great when I've got a tan on. Now this is a new setup that we're working with today, so Excuse the lighting isn't so bad, but I will give you a proper rundown and some good lighting as we near the end of this video. But first impressions, lovely foundation, lovely coverage. I like how there's a bit of gloss there still. Um, you can see on my cheek. I'm more interested to know how it's gonna last. My thinking is, I think I might do this video and then after I've done my day, been to the Harry Styles movie, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna report and see how the foundation has lasted and the whole makeup has lasted. That? Because I feel like that's always a true test to know if a product's good or not, like how well it will last, especially with things like a foundation, a heavyweight one. But when I say this is heavyweight, I say this is more like medium to, like you can build up, you know? Medium to full. Okay, I just spent some time then just really patting it into my skin, I feel like, I thought it was quite a good way to do it. I know that's how like a lot of like bridal makeup works is like the makeup artist will sit there and like really pat in that makeup to the skin just so it nicely melts, you know, and it isn't going anywhere and almost like it becomes like second, second skin, if that makes sense. Next thing I want to show you is, and you can see there, so exciting. Um, the size of this concealer is quite phenomenal. This is it against my Refi eyebrow gel. Like just like the thickness of it and the amount of product you get is so so good. Um, now originally I was gonna buy this from Cult Beauty um, but I actually went into Harrods Beauty in the St James Centre and saw that they had it there. Now thank god I didn't get it on Cult Beauty because I was actually about to buy the lighter shade, which was light one, I think it was. Um, and thank God I didn't, honestly, because I think this shade that I have right now is the perfect shade of concealer. Any um, lighter, I think it would have been too light. It would have been too stark a contrast and like just wouldn't have done me any justice, I don't think. So thank God we went for light three, which is the one I went for, just in case you're wanting a shade 
much. I'm so sorry about this lighting. I don't know what's going on. It's really pissing me off. Um, I just want to try out a new setting. Like, why aren't you just letting me live? Right. Um, don't test me, please. I really should have brought a light in here, shouldn't I? Yes, Anna, yes, you should have. It applies so nicely, so easy to blend. Whoa, that's added such a big difference. So, so nice, and I feel like it's really covered my underwear, un underwise, so nicely. Really nice. I really, really like that. Now, I'd actually really love to know if this is like a new brand on the scene right now. Uh, it is that Westman Atelier, Atelier. Um, I don't know, I feel like they maybe they have been around a wee while, but um, they're always up on my cult beauty, like new and trending, try this, blah, blah, blah. So I have, I'm deciding to give it a wee go. This is uh, the Westman Atelier. Um, face trace contour stick in truffle I believe I got um, and yeah so I'm just gonna should I just go I think so sorry I'm trying to figure out the best place to keep this now really okay I'm just gonna go to where I usually apply my contour a little bit on my nose okay now I think I'm just getting ahead of myself Honestly, I want to say, I, again, I thought it was going to be like a bigger product. Oh my god, that blends out so nicely. You see, I literally dabbed it like three times. <gasps> so nice. So nice. I was just about to say, I'm pretty sure that was like 40 quid for something that is... I'm really getting tested in this video. <laughs> I can totally understand what people mean when they say it's quite like an expensive feeling and looking product. Um, it blends out like a dream, like genuinely. Um, you never know sometimes with stick um, cream products that if they're gonna blend out all that nicely. And I feel like I've said it so many times before, but I'm such like a cream contour advocate that I feel like I've trial and tested so many that like I know what I like, enough to know now, like I know what I like and I know I don't like. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be quite a harsh product to go on but it's actually so buttery and soft and again, blends out like a dream. Next up is my cream blusher. Again, a brand that I've never used before is, is it Say? Say? Say, oh, I don't know, S-A-I-E. You tell me. And this is in the shade Poppy, oh cute, and it's a cream blush, really nice, and I love the color. It's almost like a corally pinky. Okay, no, this is when we find out if it's too much or too little. Oh, it's that kind of shade that makes you want to go. So nice. I love how there's also like a little bit of like glimmer like that kind of healthy glow you know what i mean i feel like it's one of these products that you can build up to kind of what you like i might just go in a little bit more this is so nice and i feel like this is the kind of product that would last you so long because you get so much and you don't have to like um a double dip for product time that you're just using the excess that's already on the tip of the the dofer i mean i think it kind of speaks for itself doesn't it that's so pretty i think a real trial of the makeup is when it comes to uh, what powder you're using on your face. Um, again, I feel like I'm quite picky with the kind of powders I use. Uh, I always use a pressed powder and then I always go in with a loose powder on top. So, again, I've let that kind of concealer sit on my face now for a while. I'm just going to blend it out once more before I go in with the powder just so nothing's sunken to my under eye creases. I'm just going to... Dabbing. This is the Vive, sorry I should have said. The Vive Modern Powder Perfector in Light. The size of this is so good. You know what, this is really giving me um, the Charlotte Tilbury one. In no way does it look cakey or 
like overbearing almost. It doesn't feel heavy on my skin at all. It feels very fine. I'm just gonna apply it to the general places that I apply it to. I really love this powder. I feel like it's one of those powders as well that you can apply it time and time again and it's still not gonna make you look cakey. That's the kind of vibe I'm getting. The design of it came from the inspiration of like an old cigarette box. I think that's so cool. I feel like it's very fitting with this brand. I feel like Viva's very like kind of rustic and um, I don't know, like gold and it just, I think it's just very fitting with the kind of theme of the brand. I feel like it's very on, on theme, on theme. Um, really, really cool. I love that product so much. I'm obsessed. Now, Milani blushes is something I just dropped my blusher brush, but the time I'm just gonna keep on. What is happening? I feel like everything is going wrong. Um, I love Milani Luminoso so much. It's my go-to blusher um, the, in, the powder, in a powder form. Um, so I thought I would try another Milani one just to see if it's just that one that was good or if all of them are good or what the deal was. This is in Coralina. Oh my god, she's pigmented. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> is that looking patchy to you? It is, isn't it? But it's not on the side. Maybe it's just the way that I applied it. I've actually gone back to my Laura Mercier um, translucent powder because I fancy a change. I keep on speaking about it. I've been really fancying a change with makeup and that's why I've gone back to this one. Not because I'm not enjoying the cupcake one from Huda Beauty anymore, just primarily because I wanted a change. Also, you know when you just know that something is really, really good? Like, I just know this is good. I know this one will never let me down. That's why I always go back to it. Again, this isn't necessarily new. But this is my MAC Give Me Sun bronzer. I'm such a big advocate for when you're using bronzer to pat, don't swipe. Because if you use quite a lot of cream products like I do, um, they might budge off and move if you're doing that kind of swiping motion. Not the one. Who remembers MAC Fix Plus? Who remembers it? Because I haven't used MAC Fix, Max, MAC Fix Plus in God knows how long. I'm pretty sure this is a new one. This is like a coconut scented one. Yeah, Fix Plus Coconut. It says slap bang on the front. How could I miss it? Again, wanted to just try something new. Um, I am actually going to use a MAC lip liner in this. Um, so yeah, maybe my love for MAC is coming back in. Who knows? I never like to go in with too much sometimes just because I don't want to feel like I've just had a bath, you know? And I always just like to go back in with my little, if you want to focus, back in with my little puff and just push in to my skin with a very light hand. Don't need to be heavy handed. I'm gonna go off camera and just fill in my eyebrows just a little bit. Uh, I'm just gonna go in with a benefit one. I've had this one for ages. Uh, I have recently had my brows done, so I don't need to fill them in that much, but I just feel like it's such a boring step. Like you don't need to see it. Two seconds. But the exciting part of my eyebrows is I've actually bought this Anastasia Pro Pencil Eyeshadow Primer and Color Corrector. But I have seen quite a few people use this um, to kind of carve out the shape of their eyebrow. Even when I was getting my eyebrows done, uh, at the very end they go in with like a lighter colored pencil at the front of your eyebrow just to define it that little bit more. And if you think about it, it's kind of like a reverse way of doing your eyebrows. So like instead of carving them out with like a darker pencil, why not carve them out with a lighter pencil and you don't have to use as much product in your eyebrows. Kind of smart. So I'm just gonna go at the very front of my eyebrow. Whoa, can you already see? Like it just adds that really nice define. And I always used to think with products like this that it would be so hard to use because I just thought it would just like be like a bit like of a blunt pencil, like kind of difficult. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you can kind of, I'm obviously gonna blend it out a little bit more, but this side is fine. Like there's nothing wrong with this side, but this, this, this side, you just kind of get that bit more of a, a shape. Do you know what I mean? Like it kind of enhances the shape of your natural eyebrow. 
I'm just gonna do the same with the other one. Go in at the very, very front and kind of make my way through the rest of the eyebrow. It's a flat eyebrow brush and kind of just push that in just so there's no harsh lines and everything is looking nice and in place. But I really like that. I feel like it's just one of those like just subtle things that you can do without using too much product, you know? Ugh, that's a smart move. What kind of inspired this whole makeup look today, more or less, because obviously I've been wanting makeup for the longest time, was silver. The color silver, I really enjoy wearing, you know, things like silver accessories, silver bags, kind of incorporating silver into like any of my outfits, any of my looks. I don't know, I'm just really enjoying right now. I know, um, Silver is also perceived as something to be quite like light and delicate, uh, but I feel like it's quite fun that you can also kind of manipulate silver to being something quite grungy-esque, which I think is quite fun. So we're gonna do an eyeshadow look with this palette today. This is from Natasha Denona, which is quite well known for having quite expensive eyeshadow palettes. So this is one of their smaller ones. It was still quite expensive for what it is. Uh, I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger, but the packaging is so nice. I love this is like the black bit down here. It's like matte almost. It just feels really good. It doesn't feel like a, a cheap palette that you'd buy from Boots, even though it kind of looks like one. Do you know what I mean? To be honest, there's not really gonna be much structure to this. I don't really want there to be. Um, I'll insert some photos to the side of some photos that I saw on Pinterest that kind of inspired this whole silver extravaganza. And we can just go with it. So I'm just gonna go in at first with this pale shade here. What colour is this in? Puff. Oh, that's so cute. My sister's nickname is Puff. My mum calls my sister Puff. That's quite sweet. <laughs> Just gonna go in there and kind of powder up my eyes. Like hardly ever wear eyeshadow, if anything, it's putting a brown through my crease. Um, but I don't know, I really feel like because of silver, I've seen so many people do it that I feel like silver is going to be a thing that like loads of us are going to want to incorporate into our makeup. Um, and kind of like I said, there's not really much structure to it. I'm just going to go in with that second shade. It's almost like a bluer shade, and that is in the shade Mist. I want to say, yeah, Mist. Looks like this, and I'm just going to put it uh, through my crease. Um, I don't know. I just love that kind of like the icy kind of feel of it. It just feels quite like mysterious you know but yeah and i just think like with the color black um which i wear a lot of i feel like silver is such a good complementary color for it um and yeah you know someone else who i watch a lot of is sophie floyd who i'm pretty sure used to go out with look a bish from love island don't hold me to it but i'm pretty sure that was the case um i really love watching her on youtube and have done for quite a few years now um, um, and she is quite like grungy as well and, like I've seen her do a few silver eye makeup looks and they always just look so cool and like effortless uh, which I like and I feel like that's because nowadays we're totally steering away from that like perfect looking makeup like that's not what we want anymore um, I think that's quite cool you know how we're not we're kind of drifting away from that and we're kind of earing into that more kind of just slapped your makeup on and here's the result you know kind of vibe this other blue shade here, the bit darker one. And I'm gonna go in with a kind of like a paddle flat brush and just build some up on the end of my brush. Tap off some of the excess. And I'm just gonna kind of focus on the edge of my eye. Almost kind of creating a wing, a wing but it's not gonna be a wing, you know? I'm gonna smoke it out. Um, but yeah, I do kind of see why these palettes are more expensive. They cover, sorry, the pigment of these colors is so, so good. You know what's so nice as well? Like I feel like I've not played with eyeshadow in honestly about three years and I think it is something that like I, that I just don't really have time for anymore. Like I don't really like to prioritize my time when doing my makeup on my eyes. I feel like I'd rather prioritize it on like my skin or I don't know, focusing on my hair or something like that. Now I'm kind of just gonna like make a rough shape through my crease, but I'm, I don't want to blend it too much because I feel like I kind of want it to to look a little bit uh, rustic almost and kind of giving it that kind of 
editorial is the kind of word I want to use dragging it out from the corner of my eye pulling it up to just below my eyebrow and then connecting it to the line into my crease is the kind of vibe and then blending out all the harsh edges away from my eye I could really probably do with a bit of a smaller brush I think to do this cool okay and I really like how the eyes are looking it's kind of the vibe that you know like I was going and opting for. Now we're gonna go in with this beautiful silver shade in the middle, which is called Chromatic. Yeah. Oh my God. Pigment is. I'm just gonna dust it firstly. First, yeah, first is the word. In the middle of my eye. Oh my God. Guys, stop. Oh my God. I kind of wanna like, I don't really want there to be much structure when I'm applying this. Oh. Like I kind of want it to be like kind of messy. Stunning. Are you kidding me? Now I'm literally just gonna go in with my favorite mascara of all time. I'm still defining mascara to make this one look shit, but I'm struggling. There's actually none. Okay, everybody, I think we're finished. I love this so much. Honestly, that palette, my camera's flashing me, so I need to make this quick. That palette is honestly to die for. My eyes look so nice, and I think it's just so fun to have a bit of pop of color on my eyes, you know, something that I've not done in so long. Um, and honestly, everything about this makeup, I'm literally so impressed with. The foundation, beautiful. The powder from Vive is just incredible. I feel like I still look flawless. I've not touched it up one bit. Um, and yeah, I'm just really, really impressed, honestly. I will leave everything in the description below, and you guys can all go shop these products and love them just as much as I do. And yeah, I really want to film another makeup video so soon because I actually had so much fun filming this, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. So, once again, this is the final look. So fun and yes I will see you all in my next video don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you guys enjoyed it okay bye guys